Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name's George, and today I want to show you Abby Cell. Now, what Abby Cell does is it generates a whole bunch of images based on the information that you input. Now, heads up, this deal is not for everyone. So, if you are a designer, if you like doing custom images, then this deal is not for you. But if you are not a designer, or if you're too lazy to design images, yeah, I'm talking to you, then this deal might be for you. So what it does is that you load in the logo, you load in the image that you want for the product, you put in a title and description, and it's ready to go, and it generates a whole bunch of images that are really good looking. Now, some are good, some are bad, but you decide what you want. So it's pretty good, and right now, it's on a lifetime deal. So if you guys would like to support me, please consider using that link in the description. And I wanna thank the guys out at LTD Hunt that let me borrow this so I can make this video for you guys. So let's jump into my desktop and check it out right now. All right, guys, this is the Abbey sale I was talking about, and it's a lifetime deal. So let's jump over to the plan just to show you really quickly what you get. So the plan starts off at $49, and what you get is unlimited generations. So that means you can generate as many variants of the images as you want. It won't cost any credits. But what does deduct from the monthly credits are the actual export. So when you actually export this, it's one credit. And this resets every month because it's lifetime. You get two brand presets, which I think is pretty low. I wish that was higher. A brand preset is where you already have preset the brand information. So you already have the logos there and the color that you want to use, and that's one brand preset. So if you're a business and you have several brands, then this is too low. So you would have to do it manually every single time. One user, so no team members, 10 projects. Projects are meant to organize, so that's like a folder, I would say. And this is just information. Now, if you need more exports and more brand presets, then you jump into the next plan. Now, the one I recommend, not because I want you to buy more, but because you get more brand presets, it's the $197 lifetime deal. You get a bunch of exports. That's For me, that's a whole lot, but you get all that. And you get users and 50 projects right there. So enough talk about the plans. Let's actually check Abysell and see if it's the right fit for you guys. This is my dashboard, and like I said before, thank you for those guys at LTD Hunt for letting me borrow this so I can show you and make this video for you guys. And I've created this project right here, which I said before, it's like a folder, I would say, and you could generate the images right here. So let's create a brand new one, and what we're going to do is select a brand preset that's already right here. So like I said before, you can have these beforehand. And let's use YouTube because in this one, we're not going to load an image, but we're going to do that in the second generation. So you have the image size available, which is more popular for Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter. In this case, we're going to go with Square. You can't go wrong with that because it would actually be the same one for Instagram. So it already loaded the import logo for brand presets. But if you were doing this a one timer or you have to do it manually because you don't have any extra presets, then you would have to import every single time right there. So we're going to select this one. And we can select the image that we're going to import, but in this case, I'm not going to use one. I'm not, so I'm just going to use the information from there. Okay, what's going to be the title for this? In this case, we're going to say Big Sell, and I'm going to say Get Up to 70% Discount. All right, that's going to be the title and the body of the information. We're going to go Next. And already, we already have the preset for the color because YouTube's red, obviously, but you're going to set your own color for your branding. And you have these fonts available. So in this case, we're going to use this font. Also, I wish I had more fonts or if we can load our own fonts. Maybe that will be available later. So now it's generating all these images for me automatically. So look at these. These look pretty nice. I think they, they look clean. Remember, there's no product in this one. It's just based on the logo and the information that I input. Now I can generate more just in case that's not what I like. And I can go more and more and just, just it'll just create more and more of these. So like I said before, this one looks clean because they are bent for uh, just using like this. Like I said before, just logo and title. So we have all these variants right here that some look nice, some won't look nice. So for example, let's just say, you know what? All these colors don't look nice, but that's just a variant. And like these won't deduct any of your monthly credits unless you download them. So I can bookmark this one, this one. You know what? These look nice. I like it. And this one also looks clean. And this one. Or I could generate more and more and more. It just goes on and on. So I'm going to save these and bookmark them. And let's go to the banners right here. So these are the ones that I bookmarked. These have not deducted anything yet. But when I click on one and if I export it, then this will deduct from my images and it'll export a PNG. So let's download that. Let's open this zip file. 
and here we go let's open it it's a png there we go we got a nice size image my uh, monitor is a 16 inch macbook so it's a really good size images because it opened it that big that means it's a good size all right so we got all these variants that we can download all right let's do it again but let's do it with a, an actual product see what's going on right so let's click again on this i'm gonna generator generate a bottom I'm gonna grab any of the ones we have right here. So I'm gonna actually use theirs, okay? So let's apply that one, the Abby Cell one, and it's gonna be also a square one, let's generate. And here's the import logo from the brand, so that's okay, let's use those. Let's grab an image from my computer. So I'm gonna grab this perfume bottle, and we're gonna go next, and we're gonna say, uh, again, big discount. I don't have anything in my mind right now, so uh, get up to 60% discount. All right, you can put whatever and this generate. All right, same that. We're gonna use this. We're gonna change it to pink since the color of the bottle is kind of pinkish. So let's do pink right there uh, and let's generate. So let's see what results we're gonna get putting that product right there. So it should generate a bunch of images for me that some will look nice and some will not fit because it'll block the product in some cases and some will look better. So let's check them out. Okay, so we got all these variants right here. Let's generate more. All right, so we got some more clean images right there. This one looks nice with that little circle one. All right, let's go with more. Now in this case, for example, I don't like that gradient on the back, that yellow green doesn't go with this, but if it were something more flashy, then it would be okay. But I mean, that's why you get unlimited generations. You can just go on and on. For this case, and I would think like the bottle is elegant. So I would go with something clean like this one. This is clean, obviously the, the logo I just grabbed, any one that I found right there, but you get the point, right? It's simple, it's fast. And I would say, you know what, I like this one. This one looks okay. If the logo were the same color of, of that one or elegant, that would look nice. That I don't like. This one I did like. And this is what you would do. I mean, you would generate a whole bunch of images and later on you would post them on your social media or you would do the A-B testing for like the ads that you're gonna run and see what captivates your users more. So maybe one image, one image might be better than the other one and when you decide what you want, you use it. So you create a whole bunch of variants for your ads with different images and I'm just loading more and more. See how these, it's getting more ones that I like. So I'll bookmark that one. And it's just going to depend on your product. I mean, if it's shoes, then use something flashy. If it's something elegant, use something clean. And you just go on. So I won't go anymore because I, I don't want to waste your guys' time. All right, so we got the banners. And like I said before, I'll select what I want. I export it, and that's going to deduct one credit. Next thing we have, obviously, are the settings. We can set the brand presets. This is where we create them. You can add more, add new brand presets. You can manage members. You also have the API. I am, have not messed with API, especially because it's not my account. And But if you guys want to import information or do stuff by API automatic, then that would be a good option for you guys. And the next one is that you can also create templates that might work for you guys and you use it for what you want. For example, create a brand new template. This is going to be a test template. We're going to put it in my video, test for video project. And I said it was going to be a test. All right, create template. Right, so now we have the option to add a brand new format. So format name is going to be test and just going to say, uh, let's say 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels, create format. Okay. And also we can add text. I haven't messed with this one, but again, you add the shapes, create what you want. So for example, let's do this and then put the text and how do we put it on top? Can we do that? Should have a way oh, okay, over here there we go so we're gonna slide it here and now it's on top something like that and create your own template so you can keep using now it's not fancy i don't see a lot of options so we got image logo buttons and shape this might get a little bit better and complex but this is not their main tool this is just like the extra thing that if you want to do your own template that's available for me, like I said before, this is for people who don't design, people who are too lazy to create all these variants for designs, or maybe you have a client that doesn't pay much and you're not gonna do something custom, then just send them out all these variants, well, not all of them, just the good looking ones and let them decide. So it saves you time in that sense. 
Well, guys, like I said before, it's a lifetime deal, and the link will be in the description. So if you guys would like to support me, that link will be there just in case you guys want to help me out with a small commission, and it won't cost you a single cent more. Well, thank you for watching this video, and if you found it helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and share if that is something that you would like to help me with. All right, see you guys later.